Oh, Rodney oh. Red didn't lay out. Henry missed him. Little out and up there. He sold him on the out pass. This is what they like to do when they roll outside there. And just out through his man just by a little bit there. That's going to bring up fourth down for Bowling Green and get Andy Tracy into the football game. Well, Tracy will uh, punt it away for the Falcons of Bowling Green. And Tracy's a good baseball player, first baseman for the Bowling Green team. Yeah, he is. In fact, Stevie Clay, of course, waiting to do his uh, electric damage. Tracy will hit it away from the 35. Didn't turn over for him. Clay at the 23. Cuts across the 30. Finally goes down under a swarm of white shirts led by Bowling Green's Charlie Williams at the 34-yard line. Don't go away. Eastern Michigan with the call to start the third quarter for the Eagles. 16-13, Bowling Green. Eagles of Eastern Michigan back on the offensive here to start the third quarter with their first possession. Michael Armour leading the ball club out. Starts from their own 34-yard line. Stephen Whitfield in the backfield as the lone setback. Whitfield on the call. Dragging tacklers across the 35 to about the 37-yard line as Bowling Green uh, unpiles and gets off the stack. Jason Willard, the junior linebacker, in on the hit. It's not a bad little gain on first down. To test out the waters again as you look at Whitfield's numbers. Boy, he's, he's rushing the ball really good today. He showed us a lot of power in the first half, as well as some nifty moves and some cutbacks, cutback stuff. This guy's an all-around back, Michael. I'm impressed. I don't need to be sold much more. <laughs> Saw him last week, of course, uh, on tape. You have holding on the offense. Still first down. Referee Don Amicon hitting the Eastern Michigan offense for holding. Might as well have set that offensive line. Fifth-year seniors Matt Gillette, 275-pounder, and Kevin Beverly, the 280-pounder, back from injury at left tackle and left guard. Matt Gregory is the 250-pounder at center with Tommy Woodbury at that right guard and 285-pound junior Barry Stokes at that right tackle for that man, Ron Cooper of Eastern Michigan. First at 17, back on the 28. Armour will play fed. Now he's going to tuck it up and go across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. The Bowling Green hit came from Dave Bruhowski, the uh, third-year sophomore out of Central Catholic High in Detroit. Bruhowski, 10th tackle on the year. Let's look at it. Eastern Michigan has two tight ends in the game. They go for a little bootleg out of it. No one's open. Armour has to tuck it away and get what he can. He picks up about four or five yards. They're looking at second and 13 now. Michael Armour, who uh, in that first half throwing the football for Ron Cooper was 6 of 11 with that one touchdown toss to Stephen Whitfield, 87 yards, and had the one pick. Coming up second and 13 here from the 32. Double wides left for Armour. Three-step drop. Guns it in the middle. Wheatley's wide open. 45, 40, 35. George Jetson will run him down inside the 20 at about the 19-yard line. Outstanding hookup on the quick drop from Michael Armour to that big tight end. Ryan Wheatley, if he had a little more burst, oh. he could have taken it for six. Red, you had to know they're going to go back to that because they had that earlier in the first half, and, and Armour missed Wheatley on that, but he hits him this time. Nice throw right in there. Good hands. Good hands on the catch, and he's off to the races. But it looks like he came in just second place there, but a good game for the Eagles. Look at it, second and long, and Michael Armour hits big. 49 yards for Ryan Wheatley out of second on Nouvelle. 250-pound fourth-year junior. Stephen Whitfield on the call. Not this time, as he maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. And guess who? The Butkus Award nominee, Vinnie Palco. Palco also had some help from Curtis Collins, the uh, senior out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Collins did a good job getting off the block and making that play, and helping out Palco on that one. The Falcon defense has to rise up now. So after a big play like that, you're a little bit tired, and they're in the red area. you got to really dig deep and try and stop a drive with a big play. Four lead changes in the first half. Are we about to have another? Bowling Green by 3, 16, 13. Armour on second at 10. On the delay, Whitfield drilled to the ground once again as a Bowling Green linebacking core, Vince Palco and Kevin O'Neill in on the hits. 
Well, and Hill did a good job avoiding the blocker and then making that move to avoid the blocker. He put a good hit on Whitfield and limited the gain to just about actually no gain. And we got third and ten now for the Eagles. And they're bringing in some extra wide receivers to try and open up, open things up. Rico Bryant checks into the ball game. BG coaches rave about the man who just made that hit along with Vince Palco. Kevin O'Neill is a 200-pound redshirt freshman out of Walsh Jesuit High, Twinsburg, Ohio. Seen a lot of playing time now in this Bowling Green defensive school. Yeah, he was a walk-on last year in the scholarship, and he's playing some football for him. Third and ten from the 19. Armor, quick drop. Football slipped out of his hands. They're going to rule it incomplete or a fumble. Still a loose fumble. on the turf. I think it's a free football. No signal yet from referee Don Emicon. Bowling Green thinks they've come up with it. Now the signal says we're going to stay with Eastern Michigan. I think that was a free football. Simply slipped out of Michael Armour's hands. Well, let's take a look at it because I, I didn't see what happened. I looked for the ball to start flying on the pass, and then, and then it's on the ground. Let's see what happened. Yep, slipped right out of his hand. And then it's a free ball. You never know where that ball's going to bounce. Yeah, that's what it was, the old Statue of Liberty set up. Matt Winner, Weiner is on the uh, on the gridiron to try out of the hole of Michael Armour to tie this one up from 34 yards away. It is blocked. Banged down in the middle by Bowling Green's Ramir Martin. Ramir Martin, that talented wide receiver, went up and swatted one down. Not the first time he has done it in his career playing on that field goal block team for Bowling Green. So Matt Weiner has the field goal attempt swatted down. Bowling Green maintains a three-point lead. Don't go away. 7.53 left in the third. We'll be back to Ryan Earson Stadium in Ypsilanti. There are good reasons why Ford Taurus is America's best-selling car. The 220-horsepower, no-compromise performance of Taurus SHO. The combination of outstanding design and extra room in Taurus wagon. And the latest addition to the Taurus family, the sporty new Taurus SE. Now there are even more reasons for you to make America's best-selling car your car. 2.9% financing, up to $750 cash back or special lease terms. Now on Ford Taurus. Where in the world would you go if there were no Las Vegas? You could turn the pages of history or fantasy. But if you want to be a part of it, there's just one place where there are new resorts, entertainment, and excitement you've never seen before. Only in Las Vegas. This is Ford Taurus, the best-selling car in America. And this is the best offer of the year on Taurus. Well, that was maintained. Why don't we do it? Ramir Martin uh, out of Maslin, Washington High. Check it out. Armor with it down. Matt Weiner just didn't get a lot of elevation. Look at Martin. He got a lot of elevation. Yes, he did. Uh, What's that just, called? Just the good Watch him going up in the back there. Good hops. Took it right <laughs> in the chest. From the elbow. <laughs> in the chest it, and huh? the elbow. Well, Ryan Henry starts the Bowling Green offense. They'll go from the, their own 18-yard line holding this three-point edge. Keelan Cates and Darius Card behind him. This is Keelan Cates, and oh, did he get wrapped up and knocked down. That Eastern Michigan hit came from Sean Williams at defensive end on the left side. Williams read it beautifully, and the 260-pounder out of Detroit Northern made the hit. Let's check it out here. The 21st blocked kick under Blackney. Both, you win ball games by blocking kicks, and uh, they've won a lot of ball games, and that's the reason why. How many can you win on special teams? Yeah, uh, you win a lot of games on special teams. In abundance. Two-yard loss for Keelan Cage, second and 12 after the big Sean Williams stick. Henry going to go right back to Courtney Davis. Davis carrying tacklers across the 20 to about the 24-yard line. So give Courtney Davis uh, eight back. Bowling Green still going to come up at about oh, third and five to keep this drive alive. Let's take a look at it. Good hole up the middle. Good, good, uh, good blocking up front there. And then Mark Anderson makes the tackle. He's taking, uh, taking over for Reese. Uh, McCaskill here for a little while in the third quarter. The man
man who has come in and taken the Mid-American Conference by storm, Gary Blackney, now in his fourth year. You see the numbers. Courtney Davis, he's been held in check, and we talked about this with Gary Blackney at halftime. They want to get this offensive run game geared up in the...